Baron Atha, my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another quick bite, living the word. Today we're going to come to Psalm 16, and I just want to share with you, just I want to read a little bit to you and then talk to you. You know, one of the things I think we forget in this life and as Christians oftentimes is we forget, honestly, what it means to really have our focus on the Lord, what the rewards of being focused on God are. Sometimes I think we get a little bit like, well, if I focus too much on the Lord, then I'm not going to be able to accomplish this, or I won't get this done, or whatever the case may be. If I give my time to him, then I'm not going to have time to do this, or I'm not going to have time to do that. And I want you to hear what the psalmist has to say in these instructions to us. He says in Psalm 16, verse 7, I will bless the Lord who hath given me counsel. My reins also instruct me in the night season. Okay, first of all. The counsel comes from the Lord, right? The rains in the night seasons, in the dark times of life, God directing the steps. He says, and he goes, I have set, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoices. My flesh also shall rest in hope. So literally he's saying, listen, if you would just get this straight, listen to all these things that happen, right? You're going to have that glory that you're, 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 your heart's going to be glad. You have that glory rejoicing. You're going to have your flesh resting in hope. For thou will not leave my soul in hell, neither will thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Now we know this is also a messianic psalm, but listen to what's really saying here. Because we know that we win. We don't lose at the end of this game. And he says, thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is the fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. So if you're ever wondering, is it really worth it? And I don't know if you guys ever get there. I know that everybody I've ever talked to for the most part has gotten there. Is this walk, is this life, living before the Lord, really worth it? Yes. Yes, because great is the reward thereof, both now and in the future. The glory of you know, rest even in our flesh now with hope. And the glory yet to be revealed in it when he comes and gets us. Guys, it is all worth it. So no matter what you're going through, make sure you keep him in your presence. You are in his presence by being present with him, having him with you, having his counsel with you, having his word in your, written upon your heart so that you can continue to walk in that strength and no longer resting in the strength of your own might or flesh or mind. So this encourages your day. As always, remember, I love you. We love you. God loves you. And God's got this.